Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. This video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. If you don't know the part of the deal that I've done with the company, they've agreed to sell my first lot of merch. And the, f uh, the links for the merch is down in the description below. Um, but guys, where do I talk about previous week had just gone in the Premier League? The VAR was not in use as much as it has been over the past few weeks. Um, I know it was in use for a couple of occasions over the past week, but not as much as it was, you know, before the international break. Um, also, the referees were told to up their game a bit. It's nice to see, you know, linesman's flags come back up with a 100% offside shout. Instead of just leaving it over to the VAR. Um, but, you know, a couple of shocks, a couple of late goals, you know, a lot of things didn't go quite expected to plan. But, guys, anyway, you know what I do, so, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game I'll kick off with is Southampton versus Bournemouth. Two of the Premier League clubs that, you know, don't see eye to eye. Southampton beating Sheffield United 1-0 away from home. Bournemouth beating Everton at home 3-1. VAR was in a call, I think, about three times over the game in the Sheffield United versus Southampton. You know, possible penalty shout and stuff alike. Um, but where do you go... With that, um, on the other hand, Bournemouth had a great day uh, at home against Everton. Everton are really struggling to turn up at late. Um, you know, it's only one game, but so many, well, most of you fans should know. If you have one bad week, it can roll on, which is no good if you support, you know, the certain club. Um, but, you know, good. Good three points for both of these teams. Um, but where do you go for this game? And um, for this game, I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus Tottenham. Tottenham having a great day at home against Crystal Palace, 4 0 winners. Leicester losing 1 0 to Man United away from home. Um, you know, it weren't May United scored a penalty um, for that winner. Uh, Tottenham, on the other hand, beating Palace 4 0 at their new home. Um, where do you go, you know, if you're a Palace fan? I mean, obviously, as I've said, it's just the one game, but beating, uh, getting beaten 4 0 away from home. You know, you'd probably be happy with a 1 2 0 defeat. Um, but let's go back on the Tottenham end for that. Great three points for Tottenham. And considering the Man City result, which we'll get down to in this video, um, you know, could be a great three points come the end of the season. Uh, as I said, Leicester lost 1 0 to Man United away from home. Not much to talk about. Um, obviously, penalties was that uh, goal for United. So. But for this game, I've gone for a 3-1 Tottenham win. My next one is Birmingham versus, uh, Burnley versus Norwich. Sorry. Um, Norwich uh, beating Man City 3-2. Yeah. Um, great three points for Norwich. Definitely came out the box really quickly. And that game, I did watch it. Um, you know, fair play to Norwich. This is what I say where money does not matter in this game. And that sort of proves it. Um, but yeah, great three points for Norwich. Great result for Norwich. You know, dwelling on Norwich a lot here. It's, you know, that's one of the results I'll probably never forget. Burnley on the other hand, drawing one all with Brighton at Brighton. Late minute goal. Um, just a few things I've got a question on that. And that is they've only had one to two shots on target, but yet Brighton had to clear two off the line. 
don't quite make sense. Uh, how can an opposition team clear a ball off the line by one a shot on target? You know what I mean? It's uh, one of them things, I think, where a lot of people have got to look at the... Um, you know, what happened in that game. Um, but you've got one of them things, so I like to know about Sky Sports. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2-1 Norwich win. My next one is Everton versus Sheffield United. Sheffield United losing 1-0 at home to Southampton. Everton losing 3-1 away to Bournemouth. Everton, I think it's Bournemouth's third goal. They have four defenders in one certain area of the pitch. Um, that's something you do not see in football, even with a friend. There might be one defender slightly back. Um, good goal by Callum Wilson. Um, you know, well played, well thought of as well by Callum. But Everton have got to wisen up a lot um, to start getting results in this league, I personally do think. But, you know, Sheffield United had that downhearted um, VAR decision. If I remember rightly, it was for a Southampton player. It weren't given. But, but you know, you've got to move on. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus Watford. Um, Manchester City loses 3-2 at Norwich. And Watford 2-2 at home to Arsenal. I'll talk about that Arsenal result, uh, Watford result in just a minute. Um, but bad day at the office for Manchester City. Yet again, this, this result shows money does not matter in this game whatsoever. Um, I think uh, Norwich squad just cost nearly over 2-3 to 3 million. Um, if I remember rightly, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but Manchester City, 250 something million. Yeah. And um, that kind of asked my point about money does not matter in this game. Um, but about that, the office for Manchester City um, need to get back on winning ways. And also, they're five points behind Liverpool in the, in the uh, title race. Not a good start for City in this season. Watford 2-2 against Arsenal. And that is after Watford going two goals down. Um, great comeback by Watford. Very unfortunate not to win that game, I thought, as well with Watford. Um, you know, but is that just a new manager spark that everyone gets? Or is it possibly a turnaround? We're going to have to wait and see for that. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to go back to the blue side of Manchester and I'm going to give them a 2-1 uh, win for City. My next one is Newcastle versus Brighton. Newcastle sitting in the relegation zones as we speak. Um, Newcastle loses 3-1 to Liverpool at Liverpool. Um, and Newcastle went 1-0 up in that game as well, I must say. Uh, put in Brighton, 1-0 against Birmingham um, at home. As Newcastle are sitting, as I've said, in the relegation zone. Um, but I've got, I've, I need you, I need you Newcastle fans to comment on this if you don't mind. Um, are you happy with the manager's appointment? Are you starting to settle in now? Um, Brighton also need the three points going into this game. Is it, you know, what could possibly be a rele relegation dog fight? But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Brighton. I'm just going to give them that little bit of edge that I think they're going to have. And I'll go for a 2 1 Brighton win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton. Losing 5-2 to Chelsea at home. Crystal Palace losing 4-0 to Tottenham away from home. Already mentioned what I want to say about that Tottenham result. So I've just got to cut straight down to Wolves. 5-2 um, losers to Chelsea at home. 
Um, this is where I think it's I think it's the second week in a row they lost. Can't quite remember, guys. If you're a Wolverhampton fan, please put it down in the comments below. Is this the second game in a row you lost? Um, but what I saw of that game in particular is they look they look tired, and that's just being brutally honest. Uh, Wolverhampton looked absolutely tired on the ball. They looked sloppy, and because of their slow start, I think they're also sitting in the relegation zone as before going to this weekend. Wolverhampton did no way strengthen enough in their um, uh, summer window. I know that, you know, the players did well to qualify for Europe and they deserve a charge, but you also need to get the backups in there. I've said this once or twice already on that Saturday again, unfortunately. But Wolverhampton seriously needs to strengthen in the next window or possibly look at relegation. No disrespect to Wolverhampton whatsoever. But I just don't think you're strengthening enough and this is the kind of boat you're in. Playing basically Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. I think last before the uh, Chelsea game, that was the last game, you did not play on a Thursday and you still look pretty uh, tired out there. So... Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to call this one a draw, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is West Ham versus Manchester United. Man United beating Leicester City 1 0 at home. West Ham drawing with Aston Villa away from home 0 0. Red card in that game as well. Um, could be overruled by VAR because of the second, as a second book. Uh, I don't think it was a second bookable offence, but he did get burnt to which well got a statement like this to make it clear. It was a second bookable offence. Um, but because of that second bookable offence, they cannot do it on VAR. How harsh and, you know, stupid that sounds. That is VAR, not just in the Premier League. It also happens in the MLS and I think everywhere else as well. It's just one of them rules they brought in but could possibly be tweaked within who knows, maybe next season. But as I said I don't think it was a bookable offence. But it looks like uh, the player will have a match suspension coming into these games. Um but as far as this game goes, I'm gonna call this one I'm going to call this one another draw actually, and I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Arsenal versus Aston Villa. Arsenal 2 2 away to Watford. Um, and as I've just mentioned, the Villa result 0 0 against West Ham, but Villa were at home. I think Villa were, actually, I think both teams were unlucky not to get a goal. I thought when, the, when the West Ham went down to 10 men, Villa would have. You know, basically got a goal, but didn't turn out. Arsenal, on the other hand, a disappointing day at the office for Arsenal. Now, go two goals up. No disrespect to Watford. As I've said, as I've said in my previous videos, Watford were my dark horses for last season. And what I saw in that Arsenal game, that's what they started out, started out like last season. But Arsenal go two goals up. Watford coming back 2-2 and Watford were very unlucky not to win that game as well um, but Arsenal have got to get back on winning ways and do I think it's going to happen I'm going to go for a 1-0 Aston Villa win I know, a bit surprising but I've got to go with what I'm seeing Um. My last one for this weekend is Chelsea versus Liverpool. Chelsea five two winners over Wolverhampton. Liverpool beating Newcastle at home three one. You know, good few goals in the uh, Liverpool game. Few tappies, but it still had to be well worked. Um, Chelsea have a brilliant day done at Wolverhampton, um, but this fixture. 
uh, with Chelsea. I think it's going to be either a turning point for Chelsea or Wolverhampton was just um, what I'm saying. The players looked a bit tired. Maybe Chelsea, you know, could have, might have had it a little bit easy. Um, but this fixture, I think, will really tell how whether Chelsea have got it or not. Um, Liverpool, you know, I've already said, so I'm just going to hand you my result. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Liverpool win. But, guys, anyway, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.